I feel like I'm living week to week and never seem to be able to save. How can I start to save some cash? Great question. So living week to week and struggling to save. Okay, well, first thing, it's, it's good you asked this question because I've just finished doing a five day to quick cash program. By the way, it, it, uh, we're doing the next one in a week's time. If you want to get access to it as well, let us know. Uh, and we'll actually happily give you a free pass to join us for the five day quick cash. So this is what I would do. I just basically go through the five day to quick cash program. First step is if you're living week to week right now, a couple of things. You've got to raise your standards because in life, particularly financially, people always have just enough. You have just enough to pay your bills. You have just enough to put food on the table for you and your family. And then something happens that stretches you and now you have to find more money. So you could either do that by default or by design. And so you've got to raise your standards. You've got to go to another level uh, and you've got to allow yourself to become now uncomfortable and start to stretch your goals and your, and your outcomes. I'll give you a perfect example. We're in this beautiful home now. This is about 50% more in rent than my last house. Uh, and of course, it's always going to be a stretch when you're expending more money. But the reality is we wanted to have a better quality lifestyle. We live a couple hundred meters from the beach with an incredible home, two stories with a turret on the top. It's stunning. Well, just find a way to make it happen. Put yourself in an uncomfortable position and then you'll figure it out. We're never going to not pay our rent, right? So that would be one one thing. Number two is, if you're living week to week, there's a there's a function of, of income based on income earned and income paid, as in expenses. And one of the things my dad shared to me when I was growing up, he says, son, it's not about how much money you make, it's about how much money you keep. So money that's out of sight, out of mind is, is the best use. So what I would do for you is, number one, I don't care how much you're making right now, I would get your employer, whoever's paying you, to take 10% off the top before it hits your account and put that in a separate savings account. It's forced savings. Now in Australia, we do that through superannuation, but you never see that money. I want it to come out of your account. Now, you're not going to notice 10% because if you're living on 500 bucks a week, that's 50 bucks. If you're living on a thousand, it's a hundred bucks. It's virtually nothing. The point being is it's got to come out before you see it so that that can go into a separate account. And I'm not the first person to share this. Barefoot investors and others have talked about it. So that would be one thing I would do. Then when I've got that set up, and ideally it's an account that you don't have a card access to, it's an account that you can't access uh, that easily. There's designed to be some friction in it, otherwise you'll just spend it. Uh, then the next thing that I would do as part of that as well is I would look at where's my money going. Uh, we utilize an app, what's it called, Pocketbook? Pocketbook. Uh, download Pocketbook, it's free, uh, uh, providing that you share it with somebody else, which is, it's a great app, we use it. And it'll actually chronological, it'll, it'll order all of your accounts and your spending and it'll actually show you where you're at. And then from there, I would encourage you, and by the way, we do this in the five day quick cash program, and it, it is a paid program, but if, because this is the first Wild Wednesday we're doing, if you want, check us a post below, I'll give you access to it, it starts on Monday again. We have what's called the SSN framework, which is stop, substitute, negotiate. Some, stop spending money on some stupid shit, substitute some products for cheaper products or even just for cheaper sources, i.e. buying stuff online, and then finally negotiate, see if you can try and negotiate down some wages to try and free up some cash flow. That's what I would do on the expense side. On the income side, I'd be asking for a pay rise. I'd be working overtime. I'd be getting a second or third job. You know, we're blessed in Australia that we have an easy life. You go to the US, you go to the UK, people work three, four jobs to get by because the, there's no, um, there's no base income. It costs, it's like, I think that $7 an hour is the minimum wage. So, you know, we are already living in, in the promised land. So you've got to find a way to make more money. If you haven't asked for a pay rise, go and ask for a pay rise. Um, go out there and put yourself in a position to make yourself feel uncomfortable and start actually making some more money. And if you're in a job that's not paying you enough, quit and go and get a real job and start making some extra cash. Because living week to week can be a circumstance, but living week to week ultimately is a choice. And you're choosing to continue to live week to week unless you do something dramatically different. So hopefully there's plenty of good stuff in there as a starting point, but circle back to us and let us know when you implement that stuff, how much money you save um, and start getting excited about that process.